What's up guys, it's Flipman Dan, and today we're gonna go over how to turn your house into an Airbnb. Now we're standing right now in my house, and I'm planning on moving out here in a month or so, and there's a lot of things that I plan on changing, but I know I'm gonna be missing a few things, so I'm turning to an expert, my good friend and real estate agent, George Mevwala of Travitude. Now this guy manages over 30 properties, and he is pretty much a master at managing Airbnbs, so he knows exactly what to do, how to decorate, what I'm missing, and he's gonna point out all those tips and so much more on this episode. So I think he's right at the door right now. Let's go say what's up to him. What up, Georgie? Hey, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Good to see you too, man. Thanks for having me. Welcome back. Hey, it's been a while since I sold you it, man. I know, man. It's been hey. a minute. It looks a little different. Wow, looks great, man. So pool table, what do you what do you think? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. I love the pool table. And I will say that I want to say that. Most of my houses with an entertainment room see probably about 20 to 30% more in bookings and revenue than houses without them. Oh, dang. I think it's kind of one of those things that in the pictures, pictures sell on Airbnb. So, I mean, this thing right here, it's something that like I, uh, I had in my previous house, I brought it in. It's a little difficult to clean. Is this something like that you I'd would have? I'd probably remove it just okay. to utilize the fact that this is probably gonna be, uh, Somewhere, I'm imagining it's sleeping from anywhere from like eight to 10. Yeah. Kind of maxed out. You gotta imagine when the group's here, you wanna give them as much space to play pool or even just to have room here. Declutter the house, yes. make sure it's like clear, clean, easy for people to get in and out. Probably easier for the cleaners to clean. Absolutely. Right? And you also wanna make sure that you get rid of any personal items or touches. And you know, whatever you can put into your, you can have an owner's closet where you lock that strictly for some of your stuff that if you're, you know, if it's a hybrid where you're gonna be living in it part of the year or just get rid of it out if you're gonna turn it into a full-time Airbnb machine, as okay. I call it. George, one more thing. Uh, sure. The, the entryway locks, I know Airbnb sometimes have fancy locks. Is that like a necessity? Absolutely. So smart locks are a must. And with that, there's so many different types of smart locks. I personally am a big fan and no, I'm not paid by them, Sh schlage on code. Um, I put them on all my, my units. And the reason why is because they're all programmable from your phone. There's an app you can download. You're able to program a new code. So you could program one for your maids, your property manager, one for yourself, and then one for every new guest. Okay. And with that, a little, you know, little secret, I like to I'll give, give you guys is that I like to actually program it for my guests to be the last four of their cell phone number. That way, you know, if they go have a little bit too much fun, they can't remember, they can't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Very, very good stuff, man. All right, let's, uh, I think that's good for this room, right? Let's let's yeah. check out some of the kitchen maybe. Sounds good. All right, man, so we're, we're here in the kitchen. Uh, I guess we'll start at the fridge. Uh, what, yeah. what, do you, what do you leave your guests okay. when, when, when it comes to the fridge? So first of all, everything's gotta go. Everything? <laughs> everything's gotta go. What I want when you open this up, when a guest gets here, is to see this to be completely cleaned up. We're gonna remove any condiments, anything like that, just because of COVID play it safe. We don't want to have anything that's open and used. We okay. don't want to have any reason for a Karen to complain and try and get a refund. Not like, even ketchup? Not even ketchup. I'm, I'm just, this is particular how I like to do it just to play it safe. And then if your ice, does your ice machine work? Yes. Okay, perfect. Otherwise I was going to say bag of ice. Bag of ice. That's all that would need to be in here. You know, I, I have all these like spices and stuff. Oh, that's is good. That... I, I like that because you know what? There's a lot of people that come and they are going to be cooking. And so it's nice to have the spices you can leave, okay. Um, salts, and even sugar. Sugar, okay. Those are things that are okay because you're gonna be most likely um, the one hospitality thing. If you're if you're not wanting to leave the bottle of wine, you're at least gonna be leaving them some coffee. So you can do whatever you want. My most recent Airbnb, the one that I bought in South Scottsdale in October, which is on track to gross over hundred thousand, I got a basic McDonald's coffee maker in there, and everyone loves it. So like pots, pans, all that stuff yeah. is, I mean, we've got like a decent amount of crap here. <laughs> Absolutely. Is this, this is, too much? I mean. This is not too much. Okay. You always want to be able to have enough. And I mean, this looks good, except the maids will nicely be all nicely lined up. Okay. Um, we want everything to be nice and neat when they come. Um, any clutter, like this will be- total yeah, clutter. Yeah, this will all be decluttered and cleaned up, but we want to have enough pots and pans and silverware to, that for however many people book. I would keep the more notes for like, if it's the things like, if you have trash in the alley, for example. Right. Trash is a big problem with short-term rentals. So for example, if you need to end up putting a note that says, please haul away trash 
to the big black trash can in the alleyway or you will be fined. Uh, because a lot of people, what they do is just start piling it up in your recycling bin Ooh. and it becomes a nightmare. Okay. Because then the recycling won't get picked up. And so this is a whole other can of worms. Do, um, you, uh, do you have someone that potentially takes care of trash? Is that yes. what the maids do? There's a company called Can Monkey. Can and Monkey. they actually will come out the night before and they haul them out. We put them on wow. all our, it's, it's a mandatory checklist for Travitude. Our management, you have to have Can Monkey. It's like 50 bucks and they will come the night before and haul the one recycling and one trash can. Now some of the bigger houses have two or three trash cans, so it's gonna be a little bit more of a premium, but it's an absolute must for if you don't have community trash cans in okay. the alley. How I maintain a 4.95 star in Airbnb and over 2,700 reviews is um, we want to just try and A, make the house as homey as possible for the guests, okay. B, and ask as little of them as possible. C, we don't wanna hear from each other. We only wanna hear from each other when it's at the end, when we're telling them, check, you know, hope you enjoyed your stay and they're telling us they're gonna write us a five-star review. That's so. awesome. It's all right, well, that pretty much covers the kitchen suite. Let's move on to this like entertainment room area. Cool. And let, let's check it out. All right, here we're at, we're at the uh, entertainment area, I guess, TV area. It's, it's got a, a little vibe going. Um, totally. So tell me, I mean, I have pretty much like all kind of fabrics t type material is this something you'd recommend or would you yeah no i like this stuff man i mean it really just depends too on are you going to try and utilize this room to sleep an additional two here that's a good question i i, I didn't think about that possibly i mean because uh, i normally have queen sleeper sofa at least one in my houses and condos or townhouses um we like to utilize the ability this is a nice room here man it's a vibe Having this could be able to be a pull out here. You get two out of it. Okay. Um, the TV, I totally would. I put a sleeper sofa here and I like this. Um, I know that you got this on here right now for the dog, but yeah, yeah. normally blankets area. Normally there'll be an accent blank, like an accent blanket, kind of like up here, up against here, nicely folded. A couple more accent pillows. Okay. But the colors are great. Fi what TV's about the cool. fireplace, by the way? You know what? That's up to you. Do you use your fireplace? I did. I actually, I, I had it cleaned out. I, I use it with the wood. I got the wood right here. So some people will appreciate it. I try to keep the wood burning ones for people using. Like I probably put something here like it's for decoration only. That's oh, okay, up to gotcha. you. I'm just, I'm not a big fan of people turning the wood burning fires. It's just, but I also contradict myself a little bit on that because I do allow the gas ones, right? we allow them to use that. And we have the, what's it called? The spigot or the turn thing there for them. And people do utilize them pretty well, especially even the outdoor fire pits that are gas. We have those in a few of the houses. Um, it's entirely a you decision. Yeah, so something to think about with the fireplace. Uh, let us know in the comments whether or not you'd change it. But uh, for now, let's, let's check out the sunroom. So, you know, obviously this is gonna stay, this dining area, I'm sure, sure that plays. My biggest question is like, the house plants, I mean, like, am I gonna have to take these away? Do I leave them? I or? think you should probably take them away. And why Gosh. I'm gonna say that is just you're gonna be adding an additional service to your cleaners. Okay. Um, bet you they're gonna add 25 to 30 bucks to water these. Uh, I don't know if that will advertise over uh, monthly cleanings or what, but I mean, I would be afraid that they would die if they were being yeah. neglect. And then people would be showing up and there'd be dead plants, it'd be a bad vibe. True. So I would personally remove them. Okay. Um, as much as I love plants, I think that- Love these damn things. Yeah, I would bring them with you to, your, to the next spot so okay. you can enjoy them there. And would you, you put like fake, like these are you, fake yeah, plants. Yeah, you could put the fake plants all day. Yeah. The idea here is that we want to leave as little for either guests and or for the maids to add on that's an extra. Okay. That could be something outside of the norm that they're used to doing and that those beautiful plants die. Because then people right. are going to show up here and there's dead plants. That's a no-go. Nah. So I guess we'll start with the patio furniture. Yeah. I think I made a mistake of getting white patio furniture. Yes. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, it's, it's a lesson we all have to learn. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that... Is it was just the cushions or cushion cover. Yeah. I guess the cushions should be replaced because these are beautiful. Yeah. Um, I like this. Got the fire pit. Is that propane based? It's propane. Yep. I would clean this up a little bit. Yeah, it's all dusty. Um, got all the that heaters. Those yeah. are perfect for the winter. You got a lot of beautiful grass here. Yeah. Now, to save money, you could turn this into a big turf thing and a really cool golf putting thing. 
people right. love that. Okay. Now, it's not something you need to do immediately. This could be one of those improvements you do down the road after one year of cash flow, putting some of the profits towards that. I mean, I would love to do it because I know long term. Yeah. This is costing me just a lot of money with the I was water. I say, this has got to be adding at least 100 bucks to your water yeah, bill. Yeah, it's, it's a lot on the um, water. And, you know, I mow it every week. Right. So I would probably have to continue that or I would have to get at a landscaping yeah, company. Yeah, what is totally. that? I mean, you, you got you, landscapers. Oh, How yeah. does that run? 140, 180 a month. For, 180 for, a month? For twice, twice visits, yeah. Okay, twice a month. Yeah, let's go take a look at the pool here. I would set up just like how you already have here, clean this cabana up, and then yeah, just do a line. Is, oh man, this is this has seen better days. <laughs> <laughs> I would do a line of lay chairs, dude, like those. I'm talking like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then I have a pool light. So what, what's the uh, what's the thought on heated pools? So do, do I need it? It's very, 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 very popular to very have popular. heated pools. Okay you're gonna lose about 40% of your bookings. No way. If you lose don't it. have, meaning you're, you're, they're gonna go with, you're gonna, the number one question you're gonna get asked, is your pool heated? And when you say, no, it's not, they're gonna go find a heated pool. So t tell me uh, just ballpark, what does that cost? It's gonna cost you about, you, you've got gas here? I do have gas. So yeah. it's gonna cost you about six grand to get one installed. Okay. And then for that, you're able to charge the guest $50 to $75 a day to use it. And then um, I got an outdoor fridge, it's small, and I got a you know crappy TV. Now with the TV, uh, what would you recommend? Like, are you buying, like, I was just gonna buy fire sticks and leave the fire sticks. You can do in fire sticks. I do YouTube TV. YouTube TV? Yeah, 60 bucks a month. I have an account for every house. So you YouTube TV has everything, man. They can, they can, they can watch the games. You can add any show you want, okay. any, anything from you know sports, ESPN. You can watch them all live too, or you can add like your favorite like like mystery series, tornado watching, anything. Man. You know, I have a speaker, but obviously probably not, right? Don't leave the speaker here because no. you don't want it. Yeah, no, I would not promote noise, Out, especially outside. Right? Especially outside here. Here, here's the uh, the guest bathroom, one, okay. of the, one of the bathrooms. Okay. So my plan, I mean, you look at this tub shower here. I'm I'm calling Gabe and I, I'm I'm gonna rip out everything, make this a walk-in. I you? think that's a great idea. Yeah. I would I would just completely redesign this. Uh, Four to five thousand dollars put into this is gonna add value to the house as well. So not only is it gonna help um, you build more equity into the home for when you resell, but it's gonna be a brand new walk-in shower for all your guests. The tub thing is kind of overrated. You know, yeah. they say that you want them for some of the kids that come, and but most people take showers, and um, yeah, I would take it out. Cool, so now we're in the master, um, and there, there was a couple questions I had. I mean, number one, this is kind of a unique master where yeah. there's like two rooms almost. So this seems like an opportunity to put another bed here. Totally. Yeah. I would remove this Okay. Um, and put another uh, queen Maybe even king here. Okay. You could probably fit a king here. Might be um, a little crammed. It might be crammed. <laughs> Maybe queen because you have another end table. Yeah. And I love that it's you kind of have a little bit of privacy here. But regardless, it's not uncommon for us in the, in one of our bigger rooms and or master sometimes to put two beds. Okay. So we can utilize that sleeping floor. Um, people do it all the time when they travel, especially in these, you know, vacation homes where they're coming and they're they're bunking up with the bigger groups. Okay, let's take a look real quick at the bathroom in here. Do you usually provide like a hair dryer, right? Yeah, hair dryer, iron, iron board, and um, that should that should be sufficient. Okay. And then usually for the hair dryers, we'll provide two, one for each bathroom. Okay. Just good to have at least two there. Do you like sometimes leave toiletries or like uh, um, toothpaste that sort of stuff? You can no? if you want to do overkill, but do we just we just provide a, like the. Hand soaps, shampoo, conditioner, body wash is sufficient. If you are in a position, as in for the viewers, where you want to, you know, get it up and running, get some cash flow, and then maybe you want to wait until next summer to do it when things slow down. If you have a slow season, that's a good time to do updates. Yeah, and then um, as far as, and then here, I'll just show you one final room. So I have this room, the master. Uh, that, would you say this is a full bed? Does that sleep two or is this like one? This feels like one, but this okay. probably could get too smaller, like okay. the kids. But 
I'd probably pop a queen and sacrifice an end table in here just to get the two out of here. You think? Mm -hmm. Is that worth it? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I would do. So um, a property like that can sleep 10 in Tempe, what do you think something like that would gross in a, in a year? I would say conservatively, somewhere around 70 to 80,000. 70 to 80 yeah. grand gross. Yeah. Maybe, maybe your first year self-managing yourself, if you were to go that route, right. 60, as okay. low as on the lower end, 60. I can't see it doing lower than It that. seems like, you know, my budget for investing, if I was to try to uh, pay everything back within a year, would probably be anywhere between 20 and $25,000 or something like that. Yeah. Of like stuff that I would change. If I could keep it below that, I could pay it all back within yeah. one year and then the next forever. Yeah. Have all that stuff and have it paid for and then be in the black, so. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah, man. Well, George, thanks so much hey. for your time, bro. Dude, no problem, man. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And um, I wish you uh, nothing but success on your endeavor on this. And I think you'll do very well. This is a great house, great location, and a uh, growing city. So, you know, good blessings to come. <laughs> Sick, man. So how do people find you and, you know, your portfolio, that sort of yeah, stuff? Yeah, um, you can find me on... Instagram, my Instagram's at MevCity, M-E-V, and then C-I-T-Y. Um, then you could just find me online, George Mevawala. My cell phone number, 713-248-8855, and feel free to reach out. And then uh, your company's name is? Travitude. If you just type that in, then we'll come up. All right, sweet. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll get you back next week with more Airbnb adventures. Uh, turn this place into something that guests will be proud of.